I get sad when I hear people say very demeaning things about themselves. And although it could be that what they are saying seems to be their reality, okay? But the fact that they are not interested in improving themselves or they're not even making any effort in developing themselves gets me so sad. Like, why on earth will someone say demeaning things about themselves? Like, why? Why? You're welcome to Lifestyle and Inspiration with Precious. Based on a conversation I had with someone, I decided to talk on forming new habits. Okay? So this conversation started as a result of me trying to encourage the person to improve on herself you know i was trying to make her see the importance of being better of um, personal development okay read just read anything increase your knowledge improve yourself be better than you are now and the person told me that she is a dullard and that she doesn't know anything so guys i got sh shocked i was like oh wow if it was a child that told me that, I will first investigate to know why the child, you know, said that. Probably someone has been telling the child that thing, and so I would want to know more and try my best to change the child's mindset. Unfortunately, this wasn't a child that told me this. This is an adult that told me this. Someone that is over 30 told me that she's a dullard and she doesn't know anything. Okay, so sadly all effort to change that narrative it didn't work it was as if i was talking to a wall and you know after i talked i was in fact that day i had a headache from talking but i told myself that you can't help someone that does not want to be helped you cannot change someone that does not want to be changed so i left the person and in my heart i'm praying that somehow someday one day the person realizes that or maybe when the person watches this video the person's life too will change i'm just saying but it's actually not something to laugh about because i was very pained and i was shocked i really wished i could do more but i had no idea how to go about it so please if you have any tips for me please drop in the comment section i really want to help this person i really really do want to help this person but i don't know how to okay so please just let me know if you have any suggestion for me okay so if you're watching my video for the first time welcome to my channel i want to say thank you for subscribing okay to all new subscribers and to all returning subscribers thank you for always watching my video if you're yet to subscribe please do subscribe to my channel okay so like i said i have decided to talk on forming new habits now the thing about habit is habit is actually an action that is done regularly okay something you do on daily basis it's also an action that you know you do repeatedly until it becomes a part of you okay for example i remember when i was unconsciously forming a habit of sniffling i didn't know i would always talk and do every time i think i still even do it till now but i'm not very conscious about it so when i catch myself doing it i'm like okay there it goes there it goes but before i don't even know i was always doing it until someone called my attention to it and was like do you have kata and i'm like no yeah then when i why are you always sniffling like you can't talk without <laughs> or are you high or something <laughs> jokingly though but i was like i did i didn't even know when i formed the habits of doing that so now i am very conscious of it so i try to take a mental note of it so that i don't do it as often as i used to or best still trying to stop it totally because why would i sniffle when i don't have kata i don't understand so i'm trying my best to actually stop that habit okay so the thing about habit formation all right it's a process where you just keep doing something until it becomes a part of you it's a process of forming new behaviors, okay? When you form new behaviors, when you learn new behaviors, they become a habit. After you learn the new behaviors, when you constantly keep doing that particular habit or that new routine or whatever it is that you're doing constantly, it becomes a habit. It becomes a part of you. 
it could be something that you might not be able to do without okay so the interesting part that is that if it is a good habit it's a welcomed development like for people that have the habit of reading before they go to bed people that have you know very good habits so people will start their day with dancing okay just to boost you know their morale and boost their confidence you know and just be happy boost their mood actually so the thing about um habit formation also could be that it's possible for you to learn new behaviors from imitating what someone else does and how the person does that thing now it's good to copy good habits but of course i'm not talking about any negative habits right now any bad habits i'm just talking about the good habits that one needs to keep up with so it's possible to learn new behaviors by just imitating what someone does and how the person does that thing now another way you can form new habits is by just choosing to have a routine you know do something by yourself that you know you you are interested in doing and you feel you want this thing to be a part of you so you are interested in doing it the idea came to your mind and you decided to start doing you know that action of performing that action of forming that new behavior so you're doing it you keep doing it repeatedly until it becomes a part of you okay so those are the two ways that habits can be formed you can either form a habit like i said by imitating someone okay imitating what someone does and how the person does it for example when i learned how to cook i would always call my mom to tell me when i learned how to make soup especially so i always call my mom to tell me the process so i always followed her process like exactly you know how she did it i got used to cooking that way until i'm like ah oh, babe you're now a woman to so try other things so i was watching youtube videos to see different styles of cooking different types of food and you know that was how i learned you know new things so sometimes i even just try my own so the second way of forming new behaviors is when you decide to try something new to have a new routine for example i started beating my daughter first thing in the morning when she wakes up the first thing i do is to clean her mouth and beat her before giving her breakfast okay so after i clean her mouth i beat her i have my own bit yeah and then i brush my teeth we have breakfast together or i first give her breakfast before i have mine so that's me i've been doing that for the past six months so somehow it's gradually becoming a part of me now it's not as easy as i'm saying because of days i really want to just stay in bed and not get out of bed because i'm exhausted i just want to rest i just want to sleep some more but as far as she's awake i know she has to eat so i get up to start my day okay so forming new habits is not as easy as it sounds it first takes discipline it takes your decision first to do it when you decide to form new habits it will become easy all you need to do is first decide that you want you know to have new habits okay and then when you decide that you start practicing such habits start practicing such behaviors until they become a part of you you keep doing them regularly you know constantly until it becomes a part of you okay now i'm having my own challenge i recently got five books on parenting okay because it's my desire to be a better parent to my children or my daughter as i have one now okay so i'm interested in being intentional so i got five books okay and i'm here to read them because i have so much on my plate to do and i'm like i need i'm trying to fix time for it i'm trying to form that new habit of reading of course i read articles online when i have to research okay and i have to research for maybe my podcast my vlog or do research for the radio program i usually do research for i read a lot of articles but now for me to read the ebooks i already have on my phone or even some hardcover books that i have it is difficult i'm i'm always busy doing something and i'm like no it's not an excuse for me not to read so i have to make it a habit i love reading and since i love reading that should motivate me to form the habit of reading so i've decided that okay no no matter how my day goes i should at least give 30 minutes to reading a book even if it's just a chapter or even if it's 30 minutes maximum at least 30 minutes out of 24 hours is still fair so that's me making the decision to form new habits because i'm so interested in self-development i'm so interested in personal development i want to improve myself i want to be better 
okay i'm yet to see someone that will tell me i'm okay with the way i am i'm satisfied with the way i am except the lady that told me she's intolerant and although she didn't tell me straight away that she's okay with the way she is but that was the vibe i kept getting okay so i'm just saying i'm just here to inspire you if you want to form new habits it's not as easy as it might sound but all you need is just to take the first step towards the direction of that thing you want to achieve okay good habits should be encouraged if you want to read a book whatever it is you want to form like i said a habit is an action that is done on a regular basis if you want to exercise exercising is a habit it doesn't come easy you first start by taking the first step in doing the first day of exercise tomorrow you show up you do the second day of exercise the third day and you keep going until it becomes a part of you that you can't do without so exercising reading books you know doing practicing yoga doing anything at all that could boost your mood make you happy improve yourself is what you should be interested in doing okay so on this note i'll say thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my channel help me share the link and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified as soon as new videos are released thank you so much for watching please stay safe and may god keep you Bye.